Alrighty, so today I'm gonna to show you how I do some of my reloading for my six millimeter arc. So we are going to start with Hornady once fired brass. This is fire formed and it's been annealed, trimmed, chamfered, deburred, everything ready to go. Just put some primers in there. We're gonna shoot Vitavori N 540 and the Hornady 100 grain boat tail soft point interlock. So there's really no load data for N540 in this bullet, but I shot up to 28 grains, this powder, and the 103 ELDX. So we're gonna stay a little safe today and we're gonna go up to 27.5 as our max. So don't wanna tear up any brass, stress-free loading, stress-free shooting today. So we're gonna start out at 26.6 and work up to 27.5. Now these hit the lands of my rifle at 2.170, so pretty short overall. We're gonna go ahead and load them at 2.150, so about 20 thousandths of jump. Now that we've talked about some of our load data and things, we're gonna go ahead and get 20 of these cases primed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use our Lee hand priming tool and our Winchester number 41 primers. So looks like I need 20 of those. All right, so we ended up with one extra. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and prime 20 of these cases. Now these only have one firing on it, so primer pockets are still in pretty good shape, which we would expect that they'd be, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all 20 of these primed, and then I'll see you when I'm done. All right, so I ended up changing my mind there. What I actually end up doing is 18 cases. I've got two pieces of brass that I destroyed in sizing or annealing or whatever process, but so this batch of 50 only has 48. So today we're gonna do three shot group and then three five shot groups. So that'll be just fine. So what we need to do now is go ahead and measure out some powder. All right, so like we talked about earlier, we're using N540 N from Vitavoy. It's not gonna take too much powder here and I'm just gonna go ahead and hand weigh all these charges. So I think I've showed this before on the channel. Typically I just use one of the Lee scoops and go ahead and go to town on starting to weigh these out. So first charge is gonna be 26.6. All right, so 26.6, like that to me. And we're gonna go ahead, and I guess we settled there at 26.5, didn't we? So let's give it another kernel. And we're gonna go ahead and load all of these up. So 26.6, 26.6. Okay, and powder charge number two. As you can see, once you uh, do a lot of these, you get pretty quick, even without using a trickler. So another one there at 26.6. I'm gonna dump that one too. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with me measuring out all 18 of these charges, so I will see you when we get ready to do some bullet seating. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our bullet seating die set up. We've got our Hornady custom grade die with our micro adjust seating stem. Let's see where our first one is gonna be at. So like I said, we're shooting for 2.15 overall length. Okay, hopefully we didn't get too far there. Okay, so we are at 2.234. So we need to go down 100, a little bit over 100. 
Okay, let's see where that puts us. Okay, that puts us right at 2.13, which I think I said we were gonna do 2.15, right? I think that was the plan. So we overshot there just a little bit, poor math on my part. These cases aren't compressed. I think we may just, may just roll with it. Actually, I ended up backing out that die a little bit. Let's see if we can get to that overall length we want. Yeah, there's 2.15, so there's the proper math to get us down to our correct overall length. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and seat the rest of these bullets. And I think we might, I don't know what we're gonna do with that first one. I, I seated a little bit too deep. All right, so now that we've got the die properly set up, I went ahead and pulled that one and reseated it down just a little bit. Now when I say I pulled it, I just pulled it to where it came out long enough where I could reseat it. Now I did mark that one to see if that's gonna mess things up. We'll see, sometimes when you're careless like that, when you're setting up your die, that ends up happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these seated and then we'll show you the finished product. Alrighty, so I just got done, finished seating all of our bullets. If you notice, we're not anywhere near, we're not anywhere near our cantaloupe, but we really don't care about that. We're just gonna see how they shoot today. Now, might be hard to tell on camera, but these are just about a full case. There's a little bit of case capacity left before we end up being compressed. Now, because these bolts are so short and the ogive shape, we had to seat them pretty short. We didn't get to use much extra case capacity, but again, I think we should be in good shape with our loads because we've loaded higher than this before with a longer, heavier bullet. So you guys are watching this video on Wednesday. The, the next Saturday that comes up, you guys will see these shoot on the channel. So sometimes we'll do the loading on Wednesday and then the shooting on Saturday. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you Saturday.